Blimey! This is the Galleon 680. We're at the Lauddale Show. I'm going to start right here on the bathing platform, high low bathing platform. And let's start aft in the crew cabin. It's a really, really nice crew cabin on this boat. Washing facilities. Head. So we've got twin bunks through to engineering. This is an IPS boat. Looks like she's on. No, she's not an IPS boat. She is a shaft boat. Looks like she's on man diesels. To me, they look like 1350s. Engine management, blowers. Nice Onan generator. I love Onans. They run brilliantly, without doubt, the most reliable generators on the market. They are fantastic. Chargers, more battery chargers. It's a really nice installation in here, really clean. Tons of room around the engines, which is really nice to see. Plenty of room to work, so yeah, we are on shafts. And we'll continue through. There's secondary fuel filters. His and hers, very accessible. Very, very nice. Very, very nice installation. This is lovely. It was Alcantara and wood. You don't often see crew cabins as nice as this. Anyway, let's uh, let's head forward. Now, what's nice about this size boat is you get separate staircase for the master. A lot of good details in this, a lot of practicality for such a, a sexy boat. So you've got helm station aft, there you go, with joystick control. Boarding doors on both sides, these are really nice. Galleon are made in Poland. They do a really nice job, they've come a really long way. I mean, just the quality of the fittings is excellent. Acres of glass. And actually when Galleon started with this styling, which was about three, four years ago, I did think this may date, but actually they've worn really well. And look at this, so this lovely forward area everything moves so you can move these sofas in you move this sofa back and then you've got a more intimate dining area and it looks like yeah yeah they've got these nice pop-up lights isn't that cool i love those i think they're great nice stowage all lined, all well finished. So let's continue down. Really, really nice quality of fittings. I mean, the side decks are pretty good for about this size, not, not that wide, but pretty good, pretty good. Whilst we're out, let's go up. So they have a gorgeous flybridge on these. Nice, good, good grab rails everywhere. Got this lovely wet bar here. Grill. I'm guessing. 
missing stowage under here strange catches I've never seen these ones before ah there we go little flipper refrigeration isotherm grill sinks and look at this lovely half dining area again they've got these really cool pop-up lights I love these things I think they're so you see these at night they look fantastic and this boat also has really nice sliding sunroof and of course we've got this aft sunshade again all electric controls the sunshades lighting sunroof open close all very simple very straightforward pretty nice also we've got a very nice dual station helm joystick control again up here dual ray marines these are the really nice new axiom and what's great about these is they are fully repeating and you can use them as monitors as well so the boat can be driven from down below and people upstairs can have a look where you're going where you are what speed you're doing what depth it is how warm the water is everything all available from those screens so let's uh let's take a look on board now this boat unlike the smaller versions doesn't have the folding side decks so the side doesn't fold out with the bar but it has this lovely lovely half galley layout i'm a fan of these i'm a big fan of half galleys wasn't when they first came out i kind of thought who wants your galley on show but if you're entertaining and everybody's aft half galleys are wonderful so let's start with the master master is down its own staircase let's head down love this walnut the walnut and the cream carpet's just very very smart Galleon do this Art Deco thing really well. This is the master, lots of light, big TV. I'll tell you what else is nice to see. See all this curved cabinetry. That is a very difficult and expensive thing to do. You don't see it that often these days. A lot of boat builders are going with very angular designs. See the Alcantara suede roof lining. Carries on all the way through, which is really nice. Now, that looks like that's a sliding roof. No, no, it's not. It's not sliding. It looks like it. It might be. Uh, I'll have to ask on that. So here's the master. Twin sinks. I kind of like the infinity sinks. This is gorgeous. Really nice. All Carrera marble. I've got an infinity mirror, which is really nice detail. I think Galleon have done a really nice job with this. It's beautiful. Beautifully finished. If you like this style, it's kind of it's it's like a mixture of deco 1930s deco see with these panels and kind of like a 70s like barbarella type thing going on it's really cool beautifully done really nice so we look aft see this sort of cubist up and down lights we have this lovely again the axioms these are the bigger axioms and you can control all the ships dis systems from here so uh, this is uh, lighting and so on and so forth they might have this locked so yes they do so the screens locked no they don't okay so yeah as you can see chart these are what you, you can configure these exactly as you want so you can have um, nope they haven't configured it okay uh, engine displays um, you can scroll through you can have flare with this yeah it's a new boat they definitely haven't configured any of it um, but basically you can you can have whatever you want split between whatever screens you want here these are engine management 
again joystick control and you've got these very very modern state-of-the-art thrusters these are great because they have a hold function which means if you're short-handed you can get the boat on the dock hit it and it will hold the boat on the dock using the thrusters and GPS very very clever stuff so let's take a look at the guest accommodation so we have ships panel here but that also ties into the, uh, the multifunction displays so you can check the ship systems that way so this is the master sorry the uh, the guest stateroom forward nice little details I love the little LED lighting but uh, so we've got little vanity units oh that's nice that's soft close which is nice um, it's funny this is about the same size as the master on my princess V class uh, so yeah this is what happens when you get that extra few feet and we got this so all of these are lit so we've got this sunshade, this sun blind. Let's see if I can get that in shot. Let's pan you upwards. So yeah, we've got this. There you go. This electric sunshade here, um, which is it's very cool. Very nice on suite. Again, it's not quite as sexy as the master, but I still think it's a lovely job. And actually, I can kind of, I like that, you know, if you if you own a boat like this, you kind of want to be, feel a bit more special and your guests get that extra wow factor. Got a twin cabin here again. Nice stowage. I love all these curved lines. It's, you know, Galleon just, they've done a lovely job of this. And, you know, the attention to detail, look at the marquetry in the doors. And it's matched really nicely. Again, that Art Deco theme. We have another twin. more than adequate really really nice twin tons of headroom i mean i'm not that tall but there's a good six foot four in here six foot five maybe and that's all the way through all of these cabins so it's a nice roomy place to be and we've got the day heads which are interlinked into that cabin so here's the day heads it does have a shower which is obviously it's got to be usable but that's if you're out for the day and people are they, they need to use use the bathroom this is it this is where it's at so that is shared as a day heads and shared with that third cabin and shared with this cabin also this is not an ensuite so the only ensuite as a guest cabin is this forward and that pretty much concludes this tour of this really spectacular effort from Galleon and this is a proven boat this boat's been, been out for a little while Galleon are a very well established yard um, they are putting the, the, the good details in these lovely Benzanoni captain's chairs they're electrically adjustable just lovely detail all the way through I think it's a great boat and they've got just so much detail everywhere really nice alternative to to any of the big boat builders really and as we uh, as we head aft little detail I'm not sure if this will come out on video but I'm not sure if you can see this so this boat has blue neon lighting all the way around the hull which it looks it's very cool at night if you see one of these things running at night I think you'll definitely know it's a galleon uh, it's got it's a real sort of super yacht kind of look to it I was talking about the uh, the fold down sides so this is the 50 it's a really cool feature so these these sides hydraulically come up drop down and you've got that aft galley and you've got these pop-in stools so you've got a bar on the side of your of, of your yacht and this boat is this is a 50 foot boat this is not a super yacht it's you know this this is a, a boat that a couple could easily manage without crew and you've got these wonderful entertaining spaces again galleon they're doing some really cool stuff i i, I totally rate galleon and i've i've seen their boats for a long time I've seen their early boats and they really get that very sexy italian styling and they're actually at a price point that would would surprise now the only thing 
I would like to see on a boat like this, on this particular boat, is that they kind of go the extra little bit and have a stainless steel anchor. I know stainless steel delta anchors like that are about $6,000, but I just think that would finish it. Just, just my, uh, my comment on the matter. Ladies and gentlemen, is the Galleon 680. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And you'll be seeing more from me, other boats, at this 2020 COVID Fort Lauderdale show. Masks are not optional here, you must cover them up. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Blimey!